Hello. This is an unusual video and probably will not be of interest to my usual viewers. This is about installing DaVinci Resolve 19 Beta 3 on Ubuntu Linux 24.04. Assuming you have not already clicked away, you're probably aware that Blackmagic Design issued a new version of DaVinci Resolve and DaVinci Resolve Studio, and those include the Linux version. Sadly, this version does not work on the latest Ubuntu 24.04. This video is about how to making it install and work. The first step is to download the latest version. Uh, you can find it in the Support tab. Just go to DaVinci Resolve Fusion software. And here you will get DaVinci Resolve 19 Public Beta 3 and an option to download the Linux installation and DaVinci Resolve Studio 19 Public Beta 3 and an option to install the Linux version. If you're downloading the DaVinci Resolve Studio, you can just click, say, Download Only. If you're downloading the free version, the DaVinci Resolve Not Studio, uh, you will need to put your name in and register and download. The download itself, at least for me, took a lot of time, but eventually it finished. The next step is to extract the installer somewhere. I recommend doing these steps from the command line. It requires more experience, but you get much more control over the result. Also, you get to see the output from DaVinci Resolve, which is sometimes critical for debugging. With this extracted, you can now run it. Right off the bat, it complains about missing packages and exits. Now, you should be able to install these packages, except most of, all of those are either already installed or installed but have different names. So, for example, for libA sound 2, you need to choose either this one or this one, and the rest have been renamed. That's the reason that the DaVinci Resolve installer couldn't find them. So make sure they are actually installed with the new names. And then it's actually giving you what to do in order to skip this stage. You need to set skip package check to one, and then you can rerun. And the installer will start. And at least for 19 beta 3, for me, it also finishes which is really great, except it doesn't help us much because it still won't run. We get this error and nothing else happens. This also happens if you try to run it from the icon it created, except you don't get any actual feedback. It just, nothing happens. That's why I recommend running it from the command line. At this point, I'm going to explain what's going on. If you don't care about, if you only care about the solution, use the chapter markers to skip the explanation. Blackmagic did not trust the system to have all of the dependencies. For that reason, we have a directory called libs under the DaVinci Resolve installation that contains a lot of the libraries that they need. Now, some of them, for example, libbmd audio plugins, are probably specific to Blackmagic design. Others are completely standard libraries that just Blackmagic did not trust our system to have. The reason those runs don't succeed is because a library in the libs directory requires a library that is outside of the libs directory, and that creates a conflict. Now, in the past, what I would do is I'd rename some of the libraries in the lib directory and have DaVinci Resolve completely depend on the libraries installed in the system. This stopped working in the latest update. So what we're going to do instead is download versions of the missing library that are still compatible with what DaVinci Resolve needs. Now, DaVinci Resolve does run successfully on Ubuntu 22.04, so that's where we're going to grab the libraries we need. So right now we're looking for libpango, so we can go to 
the internet and ask for Ubuntu 2204 download. Now, if you're using a proper search engine such as DuckDuckGo, what you'll get is a link to a packages site that contains historic packages. So this is the libpango as shipped with Ubuntu 2204. It should also be possible to get this through the uh, Ubuntu sites. So we can go libpango and then we can go for jammy and download it from here. Obviously we want the AMD 64 version, which is the version for 64-bit Intel. And now we can choose a mirror and download it. Of course, we need to tell the system that it's not a security risk. So now we have a deb containing the version that should work with the black magic, except I don't want to install this in my system. I already have libpango installed. I don't want the older version. So what we want to do is extract this package without installing it and extracting the files we need from that package. We can do that with the dpkg deb command and dash x will extract the package. We tell it to extract it to temp dr files. Now we have all the files that came with the package and under lib, we have the files that relate to the correct version or the incorrect but matching version of libpango. So what we can do now is we can run resolve again, but tell it to look for, for library files in this directory. We can do this by setting an environment variable ld library path to this directory. And now if we try to run, we still get the same error, but this error is over a different package. We're no longer failing on libpango, we're failing on libpango ft. So we go back to the Ubuntu package search and we look for libpango ft. And again, we go for jammy and AMD64. And we can again download it after we tell it that it's not a security risk. And now we repeat the process. We extract the file and we can try running again. This time we're filling on libpango Cairo. So we repeat this process as well. Go to Ubuntu packages, look for libpango Cairo, Cairo, ask for the jammy version. and the AMD64 version and download. And then extract, use the correct flag to do that and try running again. And again, we're getting a different library, libgdk pixbuff. And repeat the process here. Go to packages, ask for libgdk pixbuff, ask for jammy. Okay, the problem here is that this is a file inside another package. If we search for it here, this is the package. And now if we don't trust this source, we can go back to the Ubuntu and we can find the jammy. And again, extract and run. And what do you know? 
DaVinci Resolve is starting. Now this works, but it requires that we provide this environment variable to resolve. The problem with that is that we still can't run it from the icon. The icon will not provide the environment variable. We could change the icon's properties and try to edit here under environment variables, but there is a better way. You see, Resolve already searches for the libraries under the libs directory. So what we can do is copy from the temporary directory we provided, user lib, and add, copy all the files that start with lib to libs. And if we do that, DaVinci Resolve will start from the icon click. One thing before I finish, keep a copy of this directory because you are going to need it every time you upgrade DaVinci Resolve. So make sure you, in order for you to not to repeat the process of finding out which devs are needed and then extracting them and then checking again, keep a copy of the directory with all the downloaded libraries. And that's about it. I'll place links to all of the uh, download locations for the packages in the description of this video. Um, it will also contain the like button and uh, my Patreon page if you really feel so inclined. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it useful.